Hey guys, so in this video we went to Arches National Park, Canyonlands National Park, and also Goblin Valley State Park, all in Utah. And we were coming out of Colorado and it was about a four hour drive, three and a half hour drive from Aspen to Arches National Park. But we got to Arches National Park and immediately there was rocks and desert like land and just all these crazy rocks peeking out of the ground, all different shapes. And something you need to know is a hoodoo is when there's sort of like a phallic shaped rock sticking out of the ground. So there were a bunch of hoodoos all over Arches National Park and we come up upon balancing rock, which is this massive rock just balanced on top of a hoodoo. And that thing is 700 tons or 1200 tons, just crazy amount of weight balancing there. One day it's gonna fall and we continued on and we passed all these arches. This one is the windows. And these arches are formed somehow by water and erosion that just forms a perfect arch under these rocks. And I don't really know exactly, but it creates a pretty cool place for us to go and check out. So we walked up to windows arches and the couple surrounding arches and it was really cool. And it is very hot out there in Utah. It was a hundred degrees about at this point. And we just drove on throughout the park, the whole scenic drive. There's tons of arches, I believe hundreds throughout the park. We entered the Devil's Garden and we went off on a long hike and this was landscape arch and it had been broken off by years of erosion. So it was very thin and delicate. And we walked through the Devil's Garden and this was a pretty cool hike because you go up and over these rocks and alongside cliffs and you see all the arches along the way and views of valleys and canyons with the rocks. And it's a pretty cool place to be. There's snow covered mountains in the distance that make it a pretty unique environment. And it was Utah, it was our first real taste of Utah. And I imagine it's called the Devil's Garden because on this day, on this hike, it got up to 106 degrees and we hiked for six or seven miles in 106 degrees, way too hot. But we pushed on and we got to the double O arch. There are two arches formed somehow by, like I said, water and erosion. And we hung out there. I really wanted to climb it, but you're not supposed to. So I did not, but we took some pictures and it was a nice hike. So we made our way back and it was a pretty nice hike and it was very hot. And we did the one mile walk to the viewpoint of Delicate Arch, which is the most famous arch in the park. And it's on the Utah license plates right there. So you can see how big people are in reference to it. But we just did the one mile walk to the scenic viewpoint and there are all these quartz rocks. And here you see balancing rock and it kind of looks like a hand. And you see all these crazy rocks coming out of the park. This looked like some sort of ancient council right there and it was crazy hot and we drove on our way about a half hour to Canyonlands and we went to the Mesa Arch which is this and you see this crazy overlook of Canyon that looks like Mars. I really liked it. These canyons went as far out as you could see just massive and they had these deeper canyons that looked like rips in the earth and you stand right there and there's arches and is really something and we threw out rocks and they barely go anywhere and you start to realize just how big this this canyon is it's canyon lands because it's entire just lands of them as far as the eye can see we were on the island in the sky there's different parts to it and you can go down and you can hike all within and drive down there but we were just on the the top the island in the sky and we did the scenic route and we saw all different overlooks at Canyonlands. Canyonlands is about a half hour away from Arches National Park and we did this hike. We did this hike to a Peeville Dome that was a couple miles and it's a mystery. They don't know if it was formed by a meteor or some sort of natural process that left it looking like this but you walk a couple miles over rocks and it's sort of like you're on Mars and you get here and it's crazy. It's this big just crater and we threw rocks into it and they didn't go anywhere so you really realize just how big it was and it was pretty cool another hot day and after that we were on our way to goblin valley state park which was about an hour and a half away 
and it's a state park and you pay $20 to get in and there's just this massive collection of the hoodoos that I was talking about and they're cool because you get to climb them. So there is a goblin's lair that's a hike to a lair type thing a couple miles in but instead of that we just climbed up these hoodoos and we climbed to the top of some tall ones and we had some fun and they were really cool just a field of them and like i said they're pretty phallic looking so it is what it is but we had fun being there it was a nice hot day and we threw up the drone there was a lot of wind and sand and you can see she's getting attacked by sand and we got attacked by sand as we drove out but we threw up the drone and we got some nice shots and you just see the hoodoos everywhere and it's a pretty awesome landscape and we had a really good time at goblin valley state park pretty underrated definitely check it out if you have the chance and it started to rain the weather was looking kind of funky so we got out of there and we were on our way some more just really crazy rocks that are something that you really only see in utah so we went on and we end up driving right through a sandstorm and it was really something to just be there totally surrounded by sand on all sides you could barely see in front of you but we went on and we had an awesome time in arches Canyonland and Goblin Valley and throughout the rest of Utah we end up going to Bryce Canyon, Capitol Reef and also Zion National Park. Hope you guys enjoyed.